Uh, I want to thank the mayor and obviously the members of the town council for inviting us here today as, as I stand before you representing the judges and magistrates of the traffic tribunal. Uh, coming into this courtroom this morning, uh, it's, it's almost deja vu for uh, some of the things that I've gone through at the traffic tribunal. Because as uh, some of you may have known in the past, uh, we had a traffic court uh, in the city of Providence that was on Harris Avenue. And the court was nothing short of uh, offensive uh, to the judiciary, but also to the members of the public who had to come there on a daily basis and address their issues. So uh, we had a resurrection uh, on New London Avenue with the traffic tribunal, and it's the same type of resurrection that you're having here this morning. Uh, with this new courthouse, and it is, and I want to talk a little bit about that so you can get a sense of the impact that this is going to have on the community. I know the mayor has, has talked about the investment that's been made, but the benefits that you're going to see from this courthouse going forward uh, are really priceless, and I want to talk about that for a few minutes. Uh, uh, rather than uh, say uh, acknowledge all the guests here today, and I want to, this is a very uh, august group, uh, and I'm glad that they're all here today. I do want to. Uh, do one thing and acknowledge the presence of uh, Associate Justice Flaherty today. Uh, not only is he my boss, so I want to make sure that he is uh, coming this morning, but more importantly, he is at the top of the judicial system here in Rhode Island. He uh, represents everything uh, that is covered when we talk about it, the administration of justice, and it's good for the members of the Supreme Court to come and see what is involved in the judiciary in Rhode Island. Because uh, you are part of this, and this courthouse is part of the judiciary. Well, just to give you that uh, kind of an idea of what we deal with on a daily basis, uh, the mayor talked about this being the people's court. And I can say, quite honestly, there is no court system in the state of Rhode Island that deals with more citizens of this state than our municipal courts and the traffic tribunal. We have 26 municipal courts now, and the traffic tribunal in 2010 handled 250,000 cases in one calendar year. It's an extraordinary number uh, that come through these courthouse, courthouse doors every year. So when people talk about, uh, many of my colleagues on the higher courts, uh, I've been to many presentations when they talk about being the people's court, I, I always remind them that there's no more people uh, that see the judiciary than we do here at the municipal courts and uh, the traffic tribunal. If you think about Rhode Island's population, about a million people, it's one out of five people in the state of Rhode Island have visited the judiciary system in our state through those courthouse doors. And so the impact is absolutely important to them. We also have to be cognizant of the fact that the first time that they ever see a courthouse, uh, if they're not working out with Mayor Policy in the morning and watching it on TV, <laughs> they see it in courtrooms like this all across our state. And so uh, the impression that you came into this morning when you saw this courthouse is the same impression that they have when they come in to address their ticket. Okay? And so the, uh, I, I have to say, I think I, my breath was taken away with, the, with this building. I'm sure their breath will be taken away when they come in. And so that leaves a lasting impression on what we're trying to do. Because I know, and I, I'll briefly mention the fact that municipal courts uh, do, in our court, raises a great deal of revenue for our state, for our cities and towns. But most importantly, we have an uh, overwhelming responsibility to administer justice fairly, impartially, and for our court system as efficiently as we possibly can. On a daily basis in the traffic tribunal, and as you see in this courtroom, uh, I will handle 500 people uh, a day. And all those 500 people want to be the first one called. All of them want to go back to either work or if they have uh, things to do during the day. Half of them think they're not guilty. But one thing is universal, is they want to get out of here as quickly as they can. And providing the members of the public, not only the residents of the town of Johnson, but everybody who comes through these courthouse doors, efficiently and in a nice environment, will do wonders uh, for the judicial system. And I'm proud to be part of uh, the municipal court system. We have oversight over all the municipal courts, and I'm proud to report that they are uh, in great shape and they do a tremendous service for the public. Lastly, I'll close. I want to make a uh, comment on the judges here because I, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, comment on the content of the judges that you have in this town. Uh, as all Rhode Islanders, uh, we all have a Rhode Island story. I have one with your Chief Justice as well. Chief Judge Dimitri and I went to, to uh, and I'll say this in front of Judge Flaherty, the best school in the state, the University of Rhode Island. And we were uh, classmates. Uh, and I won't go into some of the things we did there, but I can tell you that uh, we have known each other for a very long time and he is an outstanding attorney uh, and judge. 
Mike, do you have uh, Shara? I've also had uh, known her for over 20 years. Uh, we've worked together both at the state house in private practice, uh, and as he, as he's a member on the bench. Again, another outstanding uh, member of the judiciary here. And Paul DeMeo, uh, Paul is kind of the senior uh, judge on the circuit. Uh, Paul's been around. I worked with him for over 25 years when I was a prosecutor and he was a defense attorney. But now I see him uh, routinely before our court. So you have, uh, with the four of us, probably over 100 years of uh, legal service uh, to this state. And your judges here are uh, of excellent quality, and I'm proud to serve with them. And I'm proud for all the residents of this town to have them to serve you. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you very much.